Lord have mercy. God is watching us. God is watching us. God is watching us. From a distance, God is watching us. He's watching us, watching us from a distance. First of all, my heart goes out to uh, people on the East Coast right now. My heart is very heavy. Um... For the people in New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania area, I mean, they've been hit by severe floods. There's a, there's over half a million people, uh, <clears throat> quarter of a million people, I'm sorry, without power. At least six people are confirmed dead and many more missing. More than 60 million people throughout the Northeast are under flash flood watches. Watches. Oh my God. The elements. The elements. Earth. Whoa. The wind. The fire. And we are experiencing some winds, storms that are unprecedented and that are at historic proportion. Tornadoes were reported in New Jersey and Pennsylvania. Um, they show homes blown to rubbles and roofs torn off of buildings. New York suspended the subway and banned all non-emergency vehicles from the roads until uh, further notice. I think it was like 5 a.m. at that point. Seven people were reported injured after a post office roof fell and collapsed in Kearney, New Jersey. Wow, wow, wow. It said the body of a man in his 70s was pulled from the water floods in Passick, New Jersey. <sighs> Passick. Oh, it's just horrible. Um, his car was overrun by flash flooding and he was unable to escape. Um, I want to commend Mayor Hector Laura um, for trying to keep his city together in the midst of um, this just tragic nature resistant tragic. Um, it's just. <laughs> Well, that came just hours after a 19-year-old man was killed in Amer in Maryland when the Rock Creek River bust its banks and overran several apartment blocks, displacing people, about 200 people from about 60 apartments. And four people were killed in New York City on Wednesday night after they became trapped in their basements amid the flooding, according to the New York Post. A 66 Brooklyn man was discovered dead in the basement of a Cypress, Cypress Hills apartment, followed by a woman in her 40s on Grand Central Parkway. Oh, my God. And later, a 22-year-old woman and a 45-year-old woman near 90th Avenue in Jamaica, Queens, so Mayor uh, Bill de Blasio declared a state of emergency, of course. Um, ah, God, he, and this is just, again, historic weather. It's historic. After New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy and New York Governor Kathy Hochul had issued the same warning in their respective states a day earlier, actually, earlier in the day, I'm sorry. The National Weather Service Office in New York said that it was issuing a flash flood emergency uh, for New York City for the first time ever, warning people to seek high ground immediately. 
the emergency warning is the highest level of alert, indicating the immediate and significant threats to life and property. This particular warning for New York City is the second time we've ever issued a flash flood warning. It's the first one for New York City. The first time we've ever issued a flash flood warning was for Northeast New Jersey an hour ago. The city suspended the subway and banned all non-emergency um, um, travel, I mean, uh, emergency vehicles, um, and for the, they're banned from the roads. Oh, boy. After 3.15 inches a 3.15 inches of rain were recorded at Central Park in just one hour. New York's flash flood emergency warning now means that more than 60 million people throughout the Northeast are under flash flood watches while Ida continues to devastate the area. At 2 a.m. on Thursday morning, 112,000 were without power in Pennsylvania, 51,000 in New York, and 82,000 in New Jersey, and 36,000 in Connecticut. These numbers are climbing, people. they climbing. Oh, y'all, my prayers go out to you. Oh, God, I mean, this, this is devastation. Those numbers are climbing. Charge your devices if you experience an outage. Call it in immediately. Having tracked up the east coast of the United States, leaving a trail of devastation in her wake, Hurricane Haida is now whipping towards the city of Boston. Wow. Wow, people. The floodways just flooded. You got people out here in Queens, New York, members of the uh, fire department are pictured in waist high water as they rescue a woman from her car. You guys, this ain't no joke. This is terrifying footage. It's showing major flooding in the subway. I don't even know when this shit stopped, how much water damage. I mean, it's just, it looks like, it looks like the tank Titanic being unleashed. Uh, uh, the water coming through the Titanic. It's exactly what it looks like. Again, people, my heart go out to y'all in New York City. All the outlining areas that are devastated. New Jersey. I've been trying to call a couple of my friends uh, in the Jersey area uh, to to no luck. I have gotten in touch with a, a couple folks from New York. This is down in the city, so I, you know, like I said, my heart goes out to y'all, and uh, stay safe. Oh God, this is the flood. But y'all know what it said. It said fire next time. So with that being said, y'all look out for one another. Love one another. Burlington, New Jersey. You can see a tornado coming in the Bristol Bridge near the state border of Pennsylvania. You can see the damn twister in the air coming through the sky. New Jersey tornado was seen touching down. Oh, wow. Oh, just devastation. The people on the subway, the water inside the MTA bus was submerged as the driver plunged to three or four feet of rain. <sighs> all of y'all, all of y'all in New York, in the city area. And what I'm saying, when I say the, 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 the area I'm talking about, Brooklyn, Queens, New uh of uh, the Bronx, the city, New York City, the New Rochelle, Yonkers, Harrison, Port Chester, Scarsdale, White Plains, all of y'all, y'all in trouble. Oh God. With that being said, y'all sent out a chain of prayers for our people on the East Coast. May God be with them. <laughs> 